Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be servicing this BMW 730D and uh, this particular model is uh, 2018 so today's service includes of uh, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter and the oil change uh, we're not going to change the pollen filter because it's been changed recently right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain the oil so I'm under the car so the drain plug is just behind this uh, cover here this hatch so what we're going to do is we're going to twist it anti-clockwise like this There we go. So here is the drain plug. This one here. Right, so we're going to be using a 17 mil socket to undo this uh, drain plug. There we go. Here we go friends, before I put the drain plug back in, I'm going to put a new washer. There we go. Very important to change the copper washer on each uh, oil change. So I'm just going to put the drain plug back in. So just gonna torque it up. So the torque for this uh, main plug is 25 newton meter. There we go, friends. That's good enough. We're just gonna clean the surface now that we have cleaned the surface so we're just gonna put the cover back on so the way the cover goes in is like this so you just twist it clockwise there we go right so the location for the oil filter is just here just by the dipstick and we're gonna be using a 32 mil socket to undo this uh, housing to pull out the old uh, oil filter Right, there we go. So that's the old oil filter. And we're going to remove the O-ring as well. There we go. Just going to give it a good clean. That's all nice and clean. Right, here comes the new oil filter. We're using a Napa make. It comes with the new o-ring so the o-ring just gonna slide in the o-ring first so before i slide the o-ring in i'm just gonna prime the seal just gonna lube it up a bit that's good enough just gonna slide it over here like this Perfect. So the way filter clips in is like this. Like that. We're just gonna slide it in. Let me just remove these old components. Right, just gonna torque up and uh, the right torque for this uh, oil filter housing is 25 Newton meter. There we go, that's good enough. That's the new oil filter has been nicely replaced. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the air filter. And uh, for air filter we are using uh, 
T25 bit Right, so for the massa flow connector, we're gonna pull this clip towards us like this, and then we're gonna press it down and pull it. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the cover, and then pull the aperture out. There you go. So that is the old air filter. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the uh, air filter box with the vacuum cleaner to pull out all the dust and debris. Right here comes the new filter. Uh, we are using a Bosch make. like for like so just gonna slide it in from here okay there we go Gonna line up the screws. So that's all the screws been nicely skewed. Right. So the next thing we're gonna change is the fuel filter. So fuel filter is located uh, under the passenger side of the car. So we'll have to remove. Uh, this uh, under tray on the left hand side this one here uh, it's got a couple of uh, seven mil bolts and a couple of uh, nuts which are 10 mil nuts so just gonna start undoing them right so just gonna undo this uh, nylon nut here there we go so the rest are all uh, seven mil bolts, which we're gonna undo. Right, so we're gonna start from the front of the car. Right, here we go. I've uh, taken all the bolts off. So just gonna pull the cover down. So here is the location for the fuel filter, just there. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll have to undo these two nuts, which are the 10 mil nuts. Then we'll have to undo this uh, screw here, small one. C20 screw, which we'll need to undo. And then uh, the clip on this side. And that's gonna allow the old fuel filter to come off there we go just gonna undo the clamp first there we go so now we're gonna twist it a bit so that we can undo this uh, t20 screw There we go. 
Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a container underneath so that uh, all the diesel uh, gets collected in the container. And also what we need to do is we're going to need to pull this clip off. There we go. So that's the clip out of the way. Twist this uh, side of the connector okay so this is the inlet side of it so now we have completely twisted it so we're just gonna pull it off there you go So this side, there's a clip which we just press down. Let's gonna unplug the pipe from here. There we go. Nice and easy. So this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the clip. Pull it down. I'm gonna pull the filter out. Okay, nice and easy. So then, this is how we're gonna pull the clamp out. There we go. Nice and easy. Simple forward. So that's the old fuel filter completely out. right so that's the old fuel filter so on this side what i did is i pressed uh, this side of the this side of the clip down like this so i pressed it down and that's how it just came off right here we go that's our new fuel filter okay So the way it gets connected is just gonna push it all the way in here the click so that's this side of it is connected then i'm gonna skew then i'm gonna skew this clip i took it off from this side there we go so that clip is uh, fully in right Right, so just gonna connect the inlet connector. I'm gonna twist it, and then we're gonna screw it with T20 screw. Here we go. Just gonna tighten it. There we go. That's nice and tight. Just gonna clip in these fuel pipe into the clips here. So next we're going to screw the clamp. And then this side. There we go. Two 10 mil nuts. To screw this clamp. Okay. 
Okay, that's nice and tight. So that's the new fuel filter being replaced. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the cover back on. Uh, what you need to do is you, you need to turn on the ignition uh, about 5 to 10 times. Just on off, on off without even starting the car up. Just turn on the ignition and then you'll hear the fuel pump running. And that's how it's going to prime the fuel pump going to prime the filter. And uh, the car is going to crank up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to put the cover back on. Okay, so the cover goes here. Right here comes the cover. Right, so now we're going to drive in all the screws in. There we go friends, that's the under tray nicely secured. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill the engine up with uh, fresh oil. And the capacity for this uh, 730 diesel engine is uh, 6.5 litres. So we're going to pour in 5 litre bottle first. And then we're going to pour in 1.5 to make it 6.5. The oil we are using is uh, Hyperlube, fully synthetic Right, so we have poured in 5 litres of oil, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour uh, 1.5 to make it 6.5 litres of oil. Again it's uh, 5.30 same make, Hyperloop. So we're going to pour another 0.5 litres of oil, plus 6.5 litres of oil being poured in. I'm just going to replace the cap. Just going to put the cover back. There you go, friends. That's the service uh, completed. Uh, we haven't done the pollen filter because uh, it was recently changed by the owner. So, so now what we need to do is just need to reset the service light and uh, job done. Thank you very much for watching.